The answer to that call is prompt in arriving. America promises substantial military and technical aid, machines and equipment to resist aggression, and the trained men to teach Vietnamese fighting forces how to put them into effective use. The American advisors are specialists, highly trained and motivated, often able to speak to trainees in their own language. They are called Sun Karabin, La Kaa, Ba Mui, Chuk Ki, Hao, Lap, Va Tao, Ko Sung Nai, Toi Sa, Nai Kwa, Vay Nhung Tin Kaik, Kua Ko Sung Nai. Instructors and advisors willing and able to teach find men whose freedom is at stake, eager and quick to learn. At this time, however, the Americans in Vietnam are there only as advisors. There are no United States combat units as such. The advisor's primary job is to train and encourage the South Vietnamese fighting men they have come to respect and admire. This guerrilla warfare is the latest tactic in the global communist plan. Korea showed that the free world would meet and stop conventional invasion and communists' efforts to dominate newly emerging nations through trade, aid, and political subversion had little success. Now a new kind of politically camouflaged invasion must be faced, the so-called People's War of Liberation. As months go by, the communists lose a lot of men, but there are many more in the North who will be sent south to replace them and others can be kidnapped and forced to serve.